everyone's familiar with the term live service game meaning every couple of months a game gets an update and it's live well in the arpg landscape today we're going to ponder the question can it survive and more importantly does it work and the evidence i'd like to present to you today is the fact that i know the games that i prefer to play in the arpg landscape just let's say don't have that great of a track record and they all adopt this principle of being a live service game. The game gets updated frequently. For Path of Exile, they call them leagues. In Diablo, they're called seasons. In Last Epoch, they're called cycles and et cetera and et cetera. But the point of this video is, I don't know if live services can work in today's environment. We as gamers consume games at a quicker rate as far as I'm concerned. I remember when I first started playing video games and I may be dating myself here. That was when you physically had to go to the store, purchase a hard copy, put it in your console, and you would consume that game until you were bored with it, completed the game, and Really, the only thing close to being live service was the fact that you were done with the game and you went and you purchased another game. There was no live service. It was purchase, consume, you're done, go purchase another one, consume, you're done. Now, this is how it used to be. Now, today, specifically in the ARPG landscape, there are live service games. And the games that I mentioned earlier all adopt this methodology. However, all of them struggle to maintain a consistent player base. And there's no better way of demonstrating this than actually looking at the numbers. Now, let's start with Path of Exile probably or arguably the most popular and what some would classify as the best ARPG in the market today. And this is, this is Google Trends. I'm sure you guys are all aware of it. And it's an indication of the popularity on the web of searching and looking for a topic. And in this case, I wanted to see the popularity of Path of Exile. And as you can see, the ebbs and flows of Path of Exile. Now, these correlate with when Path of Exile launches a league. So when Path of Exile launches a new league, the popularity of the game online goes up and then little by little, it gradually goes down. Now, to me, this represents players leaving the game and then they come back when a new league is dropped and then it whistles whittle, whittles down then it goes back up and you get it so again there is no consistency so there's no new league comes and it flatlines all the way across so maintaining a consistent player base the ebbs and flows go up and down up and down there's no consistency in maintaining a player base now Diablo 4, another popular ARPG. As you can see, that massive spike is when the game was launched back in June. And as you can see, Diablo 4 has not had the ebbs and flows of Path of Exile. And we're not going to get into that, but you can see the disastrous decline where literally there is zero almost zero interest right now. Now, there's a new season coming up uh, in May, and I would imagine we're going to see a spike because season four, what we know of season four, has gotten very good reviews, and there is going to be a spike. But my point is there is no consistency 
in the MAUs, monthly active users, therefore a consistent player base. And again, Diablo 4, live service game. Probably one of the best received, hyped, talked about, endeared, loved by so many when this game came out by an indie studio, 11th Hour Games, and that is Last Epoch. And as you can see here, 265,000 players. That was its all-time peak, okay? That's right here when this game launched in February 21st, I believe. And everybody slammed that game. Now, they had a disastrous launch of 1.0. There was a lot of technological issues with technology and game freezing players not being able to play online now they do have an offline moding i'm not going to get into all of that they had their problems and they've made many 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 uh hot fixes as well my point though is look at this drop off this is in light of the fact that least last epoch had was revered like even Look at this, 77% um, rating, uh, favorable rating on Steam DB. All right. Very, very popular game. Everybody was talking about their faction system, how amazing it was, their itemization, their crafting. I can go on and on and on. Probably the one thing this game lacks is the end game where there's just not enough of it now the talk is that we've what we've heard is that that's coming in the next cycle however this game has done a major major nosedive and again live service now like i stated earlier path of exile uh adopts leagues diablo four seasons last epoch calls them cycles so every three months, they bring on a new season, a new league, a new cycle, live service game. So probably the popular ARPGs out there right now, and all of them are struggling with the same thing. A eroding player base over the length of time of their live service. How can ARPGs maintain a consistent MAU? How can ARPGs maintain a consistent player base? Every game, and these are top ARPGs. These aren't nobodies. Yes, some of them are developed by AAA Studios, one of them, and two of them are developed by Indie Studios. However, let's take a step back and analyze this. These are three to four popular ARPGs. All of them share the same trait. They can't maintain a steady player base. They're all live services. What is the problem? And I want to present the following evidence, Your Honor. And that is the fact that I don't think the ARPG genre is equipped for live service. And let me elaborate. Now, ARPGs, what are ARPGs? Action, okay? Loot, a progression of character. Your character, I like to call it, and I've coined it many times, rags to riches. You start with nothing, you grind the game, you do the campaign, you get loot is dropping you're killing enemies loot is dropping and you're evolving your loot you're leveling up your character point is over the over the time of the grinding you hopefully are making your character higher level more powerful being able to complete and challenge the harder content in the game there's progression in the game progression means time it's not you get into the game and you're set now you just play the game no there is a journey in arpgs 
which takes time. Now, what differentiates ARPGs from, let's say, a battle royale game or a low barrier to entry, like a CSGO, uh, a Fortnite, um, uh, I think Rainbow Six. These games, you get into the game, you select your loadout and you play the game. There is no leveling up. There is no grind. You're just, you know, you get into the game. And for example, for Fortnite, you get into a battle arena, you drop in to the map with a hundred other pe 99 other people and last man standing wins, right? That's it. And you can play 10 games. You can play 20 games. You can play for one hour. You can play for a hundred hours. Nothing changes. Only thing that changes is every time you die, you, you have to load up another game or if you win, you win. But my point is there is no progression. There's no end state. The end state is you either win or lose and you go on to the next round. Whereas with ARPGs, there's a journey there's a time frame it's not you're in the game and you're done now you're just killing stuff doesn't work like that and this leads me to my evidence that live services and arpgs they don't go hand in hand because you can't you can't course correct with arpgs and 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 let me let me quantify that before you guys start dropping a thousand what are you talking about of course there's hot fixes my point is yes you can make adjustments here and there but at the end of the day okay hear me out and let's look at diablo 4 for example massive holes in the game massive we are now walking into season four that's 12 months of them trying now they've misstepped from the get-go we're 12 months out and they have yet to affix yet to fix the gaping holes in that game now time will tell if season four will address some of that but my point is yes you can fix arpgs don't get me wrong the problem is you can't address major issues with the game another example the game behind me last epoch so popular coming out of the gate 265,000. they have a lot of check marks and a lot of things that make an arpg good however they're not maintaining player base because once the players get to the end game all that's left to do is monoliths so the repetitiveness of that is making players say <laughs> I'm done. Even me, someone that loves Last Epoch, I thought I'd be playing this game for years. And who knows? Cycle 2, if they address the end game, pinnacle bosses are coming. Like I said, they've already have so... I don't know how you can get better with their crafting. I'm sure they will, though. Their quality of life in the game is unbelievable. I, I, if they don't make another change, I'm happy with it. Their itemization, the way you, that ties in with the crafting. Again, if they only do minor changes, that's fine by me. There's no gaping holes as far as I'm concerned. Look, no game is perfect. Don't get me wrong, okay, guys? So take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. Their faction system is off the charts so good. <laughs> whether you want to be a solo self-found player and do the circle of fortune or whether you want to trade buy and sell in the economy the merch like they have it their gaping hole is the end game um and this is why you see this massive massive drop and this is why so how can a live service game this game is being played right now how can they address their gaping hole of they need more end game the monoliths pinnacle bosses etc etc how can they address this during their first cycle they would have to do a major drop in the cycle now that's possible but not likely why because in the cases of the other games path of exile diablo 4 
you need to have a carrot in front of players to come back they've left so in diablo's 4 case they're going to bring major content at the beginning of the seasons because they want to number one bring more players back and they want to have something to talk about my point is live service and arpgs oil and vinegar right now now i'm not saying it's 100 percent not possible but the way games are being developed right now and i'm talking specifically arpg okay everyone the way they're being developed and the way they're being consumed right now are oil and vinegar and you know correct me if i'm wrong tell me what i'm not seeing i don't see an immediate fix to this you cannot deny the facts every single game path of exile up and down up and down i've showed you guys this already diablo 4 forget it they got more problems than just keeping a consistent player base okay and last epoch how can you deny it there there's something wrong here do they need to get away from live service games do they just I, I don't know what do they do what do you guys think because this is not good because what ends up happening is these kind of discussions start forming and look these developers are trying everything they can to try to keep the player base here but it's not happening one by one everyone i'm every game i mention everybody comes and leaves comes back and leaves comes back live service live service so <laughs> i already see some of the comments well if they created a good game then maybe more players would stay and you know what you're kind of right but i don't think arpgs and live service go hand in hand and until a developer that is in the arpg landscape discovers the golden bullet the secret sauce to marriage to marry those two i think this is what it is we're all going to be in and out of game out of arpg games because no one's been able to identify the secret sauce so let me know what you think I wanted to discuss this because there has been a lot of discussion around this. People nipping away at this topic. You know, what happened to Last Epoch? What's going on with Diablo 4? Path of... Well, I oh, this is how I play Path of Exile. The leak comes out, I get my fill, and I'm out. And I come back. That's just the way I play Path of Exile. Now, please, I understand every one of the games that i mentioned there are loyal players regardless of what's going on with the game they play it however that is a small percentage compared to the massive player base that's out there waiting to consume games and that's what these developers are trying to get um so let me know what you think do you have a solution do you agree Am I off my rocker? Is li life serve? There's nothing wrong with life service. Just the developers got to get good and make better games. Anyway, let me know your comments. Get in there. Would love having a debate with you guys. And if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And believe me, the second one of these ARPG developers get the secret sauce and find it and implement it in the game, I'll be all over that game for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.